Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm pretty excited, actually, because I finally got my craft room cleaned out. Um, if any of you seen my walkthrough of my before and after, it was pretty crazy there for a while. So I finally got it all done, and so I'm actually able to sit in here and watch video now. The only downside is um, when I was sitting at the kitchen table... Um, the way I had the camera set up, I could watch the video and see whether or not I was in frame or not. With this new setup, I can't. So if you notice these little blue strips on the edge here, I have literally, I went into the kitchen and got out some painter's tape and um, taped out a line of uh, with the painter's tape to make sure that I was in frame on the camera. So that way I know that you guys can see what I'm doing until, you know, I get my mess desk all messy and then I'll be like, where's my lines? So let's jump right in here. Okay, so the other day I did a video on um, deconstructing books. A lot of you loved that video um, and said it was very helpful. So... Today will not be the video, but I'm just going to show you um, some of the videos coming up that we're going to have in the lineup. So today is my mass shoot day, so I'm going to do like some prepping and pre-planning of some of my videos and talk to you guys about the upcoming journals and some upcoming projects. So one of the things is when you deconstruct books, you always have these little pe or these inserts left over and you can only deconstruct so many of these pages before you're like, I don't know what to do with all of these. I am lost. Well, I was at Sam Levitt's the other day. Uh, well, I take that back. It was quite a while ago that I was at Sam Levitt's. And they had a bunch of these tied up. And just they were just tied up with a string. And then I went on Pinterest. And I seen a bunch of books done the same way but they were all decoupage and really pretty so I'm going to do an upcycle video on these three because I want to make them for my besties house if you're watching honey bunch yeah I might drag you over to help and we will be working on this one so that will be fun and I will do a video tutorial too so you guys can join in and maybe upcycle some of your uh, text blocks that you just you have too many and you want to do something with them. Okay, so, um, planning and prep, prep, blah, blah, blah. This will actually be, um, the journal that I use for some of my beginner's videos. Um, I know a lot of you watch my, um, deconstructing old books. So, and you all asked how to stitch them together um, and all that other stuff. There was um, how to secure your signatures or your text blocks inside your books. So we will be doing a miniature feature. Um, I'll do one on stitching them together, um, signature prep, which if you watched my Paris signature videos, um, it'll kind of give you a good idea on how to decorate and prep some of your signatures. But uh, I'll do, on this journal, I'm going to do a base-by-base -base step on from this step stage of having your signatures prepped and ready to go and officially mounting them in your book. So definitely stay tuned for that one. And I know a couple of you ladies are super excited to go ahead and purchase um, some of these mermaid books. Uh, I, again, I have limited amount of material, but I have a lot of you who want the minis. And I think I have enough material to make quite a few minis, but I am going to do um, one more large one. Uh, so I'm going to do one large one to sell. And I still I have to do the last finishing touches on the cover for the giveaway. Um, the cover won't be featured in the giveaway. But whoever wins the wonderful mermaid packet full of ephemera and papers. Can go ahead and purchase the cover. So they can have a cover to mount all of their beautiful mermaid stuff in. So uh, I will have that ready to go and let you know a price on that during the giveaway. So, and those of you who want a mini, stay tuned because I know there was quite a few of you. So I'll just throw it up on my Etsy shop. 
Okay, now into the um, journals I'm going to be making. Hopefully in this month and the next month or two. Um, so far, I've decided I want to do a Victorian one. I've seen one or two Victorian styles. The, first, the one that I primarily remember was like very gothic Victorian style uh, dark. Um, I think I want to do like a Victorian, but a lighter style Victorian. I want to do, for all of you Supernatural fans out there, especially for the renewal of the 14th season, if any of you heard, I am super excited. Even though I haven't even seen the 13th season yet. <laughs> I always wait for them to come out on DVD and buy them. Or Netflix too. So there will be a Supernatural one. And I decided against John's journal because um, I know you can probably go down to, because I researched it, and you can go down to like either um, Hot Topic and pick one up, just the binder itself, and then print out the pages and add them later. Or you can also uh, order them online. But I decided I'm going to do a Men of Letters one. And if any of you are Supernatural fans, let me know because that one is going to be pretty awesome when it's finished. It's going to be very vintage. I'm thinking like a distressed white cover. So that'll be really fun. And I do have some special orders coming up that I'm going to be working on. So these will be in between all these because these have to get done first. So I have a shabby chic one. A lady in one of my Facebook groups wants to do a swap. And I have a wedding one that has been ordered that I have to get done. Um, I actually have to sit down with the lady on Thursday and discuss the size and all that other stuff. Because we just kind of talked about it. And when we were going in the uh, stages, uh, just the basic pre-planning stages, we were talking about traveler's journal style. But um, I, she really liked the traditional book style, so I think I'm going to try and make her a mini, and it would be more in her price range than an actual larger book. And um, another one is, if my sissy is watching, plug your ears because I'm going to make you a turtles and cactus one, and I know you're going to be in love. I think I'm going to try a lot of new uh, things with that one, so I think that one's going to be interesting and fun. And I'm going to make one for my birth mom. But I haven't decided what kind yet. So, if you see this video, Mom, either throw it in the comments on suggestions you want. Or, you know, just message me. <laughs> and I'm making one for my adoptive mother for Mother's Day. Uh, that one will be an upcycled book. So, that one will also be featured in Junk Journaling for Beginners. So, we will have the mermaid one and the... It'll be a spring Mother's Day themed one that will be upcycled for the beginners. And then I still have to do my one for owls for one of my good friends. Um, let me show you so far. I got a Ziploc bag. And I literally just started packing it full of goodies. And if you're watching, cover your eyes. Because there's just so many goodies in here. This is how I pre-prepped for my um, journals that are themed. I just grab... Anytime I find something that is perfectly cute... I grab it like these were Christmas ornaments from this last year that I grabbed here was a book that I was gonna use um, I grabbed this one and pretty much deconstructed it but she also picked out a gray one that she really liked so we'll we'll see what happens and then this I had in my car for the longest time I'm gonna empty out the smelly good stuffs and use it as a pocket and here's all these charms that I found on clearance I think uh, most, this one was Michael's, these were Hobby Lobby. These were the bookends that came out of here, but I'm, I might use them, I might not. And a coloring page. Oh, here's the gray one she really liked, too. Um, so, we have two to choose from here. And then I also found this. It was a, a book that I was taking apart for... Uh, that was filled with birds and it had this whole entire section on owls so I just cut out those pages they're perfect and she found this spiral when we were thrift topping so we're going to use that and then of course here's this owl photo that you've seen before so literally this one I got from thrift topping this one I got from thrift topping if any of you seen my last pre-planning video this was in there and so was this so these will probably be going on in here too and I have, oh, at the bottom of the bag, 
Here's a ring that I'll probably tear apart because it's one of these stretchy band ones. And then I'll add this little owl in. And then here's this one with the little danglies. So we got two like that. They're so cute. So um, for any of you who want to know how to do themed journals, the basic pr principle is first you got to pick a theme. Then you have to go through and start packing things in for the theme. So it might take you a while because I think it was over a year ago or at least about a year ago when I started the whole pre-planning video for my lineup of journals and I still haven't gotten this one done. So hopefully, oh, there's the planes for the Air Force Base. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to get hers finished as a, because her birthday came up recently. So I'm try, I'm hoping I can get this finished real quick as a late birthday present. So that's pretty much how you do it. Like this material was given to my mom by one of her friends and she knew I was working on some owl themed stuff. This one I found at Walmart for a dollar something. It was a fat quarter. So and uh of course the owl pages i found those also while i was out thrift hopping we got uh, one of those vintage bird books and i think i got these stickers at the 99 cent store and then other than that i'll probably just go through and find papers and i'll go online and print off some owl um related cute little photos to throw in there too that pack is finished and ready to go all i have to do is start printing off the ephemera now let's get into some ephemera um ideas so i was telling you guys that i'm going to be doing a shabby chic one and when i was at joanne's i think i found these in the clearance bin wouldn't those be just perfect for a shabby chic and then I started printing off all of these. These are going to be perfect for shabby chic. And I literally, I typed in free shabby chic ephemera. All of this stuff came up and it is just too cute. Um, and it, it was completely free. I mean, high resolution quality, beautiful little cutouts. And I still have more to cut out. So I'll have plenty left over. And like, for instance, when I start doing my junk journaling courses, um, all this free ephemera, I think I'm going to have it spread out all over a table and then have a big jug out and be like, hey, donations for ephemera, for a printer, because I don't have one. So I have to go out and get these printed. So when I start holding courses, I'm just going to have it all over a desk and be like, hey, put donations in the bin so I can buy a printer or put donations in the bin so I can buy ink. And you can pick up a couple of pieces of ephemera for your junk journal for the class today. I thought that would be a really great idea. And I still have a thick, huge stack to cut out. So I literally sit um, in front of the TV when it's TV time and cut out all of my ephemera stacks. And that's just the simplest, easiest way to do it. Because fussy cutting all this stuff, yeah, it, it could take a while. Um, these ones I actually got on a... I, I think it was free Friday or something like that on one of my Facebook groups where they'll post all these up and they're so cute and so pretty. So I'll snag them real quick too. Um, let's see here. And I also have these beautiful flowers that I picked up because I thought they were too cute. And then I realized that they'd be so pretty for the, um, the, oh, the one, shabby chic one. And one or two of these would go really good in the Victorian one too. So I think we're going to call it a wrap for this one. And um, I hope that gave you a little bit of good ideas on how to pre-junk journal plan. And anytime you have any good ideas for making a junk journal or a type of junk journal you want to make, grab a pen and paper and start jotting it down. I usually keep a little notepad and a pen in my purse all the time. But even when I forget a pad and paper, I have Samsung notes on my phone and I use that all the time. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye!